Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial about uh, creating a fillable form using Adobe Acrobat uh, in another way creating a fillable form in a PDF form in, in a, in a PDF uh, form in previous videos I explained how to create a fillable form using Word 2011 for Mac and also um, Google Docs in this video I'm going to give very quick tips about how to create a fillable form from scratch on Adobe Acrobat without the need to import from a scanner or from an already existing uh, form. To start, um, and a first suggestion is uh, import one empty PDF for, uh, for page from a Word document um, and then open it in Adobe Acrobat not Adobe Reader, Adobe Acrobat, because Adobe Acrobat is the one that uh, enables creating a form. And then you go to Tools. From Tools, we need two sections. We need the content and we need the forms. Uh, forms is to create and edit our uh, forms, and the content is to add the text, because the text we cannot really add or edit using um, using the form section. So we start here and we type, for example, form sample. Um, I will just type randomly um, first name. I will add a star next to that. And then we go first name and then we go uh, last name. Sorry. Um, last name I will go for age let's see this is in the way and then we go sex and then we go um, country country um, of course I mean this is just a quick uh, quick example to show you how um, how you can do it uh, if you want to increase the font and then uh, choose the font, change the font. For example, the title. Let's choose something. Okay, and then let's increase the font. Or you can do it from here, down, down, up, up. I think 24 is the maximum. Anyhow, and then let they are random, of course. Then we click to select object, and then we align them the way we want. Um, yeah, this is because I I clicked enter. And then last name. I will leave some space so and then we have it. okay, age is very small. So I will just go down age and then six and then last country. Oh let's just add the feedback. <coughs> uh, Feed back. Yeah, this has to come down to eighteen, sixteen, and select, and then put it in. So we've done this one in the content. I will go back to the form. It's it's it doesn't look good, but I will show you how. How can you make it better in 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 the third or second suggestion? And then we close the content, and then we open the form. Um, we don't really uh, create a form, and this is when you're gonna have to import a form. Let's click on the country. There is no field. We know that there is no field. Uh, do you want to detect any field from you? No, we don't need that because we we're gonna create our own field. So this is uh, the form creating uh, part, and then we start. Uh, that for first name, this is a text, and then I can go either from here, here is my options, or from here by clicking this drop-down menu and then text field. And then in front of first name, I do, I click, and then it will appear. Um, require field, of course, I can then I tick require. 
Now, what, what can I do here is text one, and then I can add, for example, first name. And that will appear here in order to guide uh, the writing. If you want to change the properties for this, you can double click on it. And here it comes. And here is the property section when there is the name of the field, and also it will appear here in the drop down menu. And you can appearance, you can change whatever you want. This is alignment, and these actions that I'm not really uh, familiar with. But I guess I only use appearance general and option if I wanted to um, to have a certain alignment. Let's make it to the right. And okay, no, it did not change the right. Okay, then let's continue anyway. Uh, doing this to the last name. Again, required field, double click or you can click on that. Uh, let's not go for appearance. Uh, let's go for the name here and then we go last name. Required, then you can tick in and off, on and off required uh, here. And then we said close. Um, age, let's say age we need it from a drop down menu when they can um, our list box so they can actually choose from um, certain age range um, we type age and double click age appearance and then we go to options and then we have item for example I want it to be from 28 add 29 Add 30, add 31, add and 32, add. Uh, of course, you can change which one here. For example, I can go for item um, choose age and then add. And I want it to go to be the first, but I'm um, not really necessary, so I can just delete that. Um, yeah, you can choose multiple options and so on. So you, you close that. Okay, so this is uh, how this will look. We're gonna see in a minute uh, in the preview here. Let me just do the six and then we go six uh, it should be radio option so we have here a uh, choice one edge uh, okay it's for this double click appearance options and then we go for mail and you can change the circle cross or check and uh, let's make it cross and then close and then we go for a second one and this is gonna be option two I forgot to write male and female but um, I'm sure you can do if you can do that later on with the content with the thing um, and then let's go oh, double click and then circle two should be female okay now we go another is how to drop down menu countries and uh, okay that's a required field for example if you drop down menu options like let's say uh, UK add USA um, add uh, I don't know um, Egypt add then like like uh, choose a country add and make it up so it can be the first uh, field and feedback um, 
also should be a text. Oh, sorry, a text. But we need to change the properties of this text in order to be um, options. Like, let's see if they want to write, then they can limit to 500 characters. And OK, and then I just can. OK, uh, it doesn't look very pretty, but let's see how it will work. So this is the form. The name should be added here, but there is no uh, there is no edges, so you can't really tell when you're writing. We can choose that. This is the age that you can choose, and then sex, male or female. So you have, when you add the radio, choose, and then choose a country, of course, you have to make them bigger. USA or some of the feedback is also when you have to write. But we go back to editing and we double click, we go to appearance, border colors, um, let's go black, medium, fill color, let's say gray. Let's go for solid. Okay, close and here as well. Uh, double click appearance and then black, the medium or thin. Let's so go with thin here. What we can do here, we can expand this one, of course. Let's just see how it's going to look like. Um, yeah, it doesn't really look pretty, but it's. Uh, we changed this one from right to, from left to right. Um, we need to go back to edit, double click, options, and we need to start from the left. Okay, close and this one. So when we go preview and click and start from the left so in a way this is a very short um, way how to create a form of course uh, if you spend more time on it uh, it should look much better uh, and so on so the second option that I really have is to write in a word file all the uh, sentences and words um, that you need and then you go to for forms you go to content and edit no it's not being edit uh, object editing and then you can actually change the font sorry not the font you can change um, uh, change the arrangement of, of the objects and for example you can add lines uh, you can add your logo uh, you can add space between them um, you can add your own line of course that depends on what do you save on your file from your file that from your world which, uh, word uh, file which can make it just easy to arrange and then when you finish editing from here you can go to forms and you can click on editing and no you don't want to detect any um, for you because you are the one who's going to be doing that and then you start doing the same thing by adding fields and um, so on and if you want to have more complicated uh, design I'm sorry I have a very ugly design here but if you want to have more complicated you can actually have uh, in an InDesign 
you design whatever you want you just leave a plank for the uh, for this or spaces for the f uh, fields that you want to add and then go to tools and forms and directly to edit no you don't want to, to detect any files for you and then add fields and then it will be just filling the gap uh, filling the gaps that you already created and here now you go to options uh, appearance you want it with a line and so on so let me just do this very quickly of course a better design will be much better um, planned so you you can for example first name need to be required so you just go to options and general and then click required and so on um, six has to be radio button so we go here and choose one and then we go again to of course again here I forgot to add male and female um, same age list menu uh, of course then you can go add whatever you want and when you fill when you finish filling the gap from your own original design then you can of course check how it looks like and then you can save it and this is, should be the form that you just created I hope that was uh, useful and uh, please if you have any comments or feedback on this method how to create a fillable form using PDF uh, or Adobe Acrobat, don't hesitate to write your opinion on uh, or your method in the comment below.